Welcome to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. Join us in our campaign and shenanigans as we explore the subterranean labyrinths, plunder hordes of treasure, battle legendary monsters. This podcast will be following our gaming group and the adventures of these characters, as well as a few guests from time to time. Join us as we start a new campaign and our journey to experience the best, and maybe the worst, in the 5th edition of Dungeons & Dragons. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Welcome back to the Dark Vision Dames. Woo! Woo! I guess I waited for you to know to do that. Thank you. You're welcome. So, where last we left off, the, the wizard was kidnapped by Cobalt. You were hoping that you would find her just around the bend, but unfortunately, these Cobalt scampered off with her really, really quickly. No. Yeah, she probably just teleported away from him, so you should be good. You hope? I hope. Hopefully I she's not confidence. stuck in a wall somewhere. Uh. Hopefully she's not dragging the... So thankfully, when you guys have been looking for her, you notice that the kobolds apparently aren't having anything to do with you guys now. Should we go in for her? It's because we killed a bunch of them. And they're gonna take well, I was going to give a little deposition in there, yeah. So as, as you guys were basically mastering away, you came to this conclusion that every time you'd see a group of kobolds, they would dive into a hole, poke the hole with the stick, and the hole would collapse. Yeah. So they were basically running away from you and hiding in terror. <laughs> as well as they should. <laughs> Thankfully, in one of the sections, they basically caused this whole collapse to happen. That caused you guys to have to stop and you know take take you know a bit of a short rest, thereby letting you spend your hit dice if you needed to recover hit dice while you're you know unblocking the tunnel. I was really good at that. You were really good at that? I'm pretty sure that that gives me the ability to renew my second wind ability. Yes, yes it does. I shall need it. Uh-huh. So you guys are back on the hunt. You hear you hear really muffled screams up ahead. Oh, no. It could be a, a woman or a very young child. You can't quite place it out. The grandma and her grandchild. The one that we came looking for. Hopefully we can rescue them. Hopefully. Yes. Well, I rolled really badly the last time, yes. so I was hanging from my ankles from this ceiling, <laughs> cursing up a blue streak. That's the bar Irish and Scottish, sorry. <laughs> okay, so let's go around the table and introduce who you're playing and who you are. I am Kelly. I am playing Bronwyn Anvilspack, the Dwarven Cleric of the God Court. I'm about yeah, I'm playing Zalaris, the half elf bark rogue. <laughs> <laughs> Bard. Bard. Air quotations. Bard. Air quotations. Um, I am Andy. I am playing Glory, who is a tiefling fighter that grew up in the gladiatorial pits. Um, my person is Pixie. She is a druid rock gnome. Okay. Yeah. And unfortunately, we're missing our, our wizard. Yes. Who was kidnapped by kobolds? The dirty yeah. bastards. The scaly bastards. Yeah. Dirty bastards. As there's two of them that were working the ass off dragging her across this place <laughs> by rope. So, can't see. see, you can practically hear the kobolds from the distance talking and planning. <laughs> <laughs> you hear them like muttering something in the distance. You can practically hear kobold voices in some of the walls that or really just recently collapsed dirt. Or maybe false fall. Well, they're probably pretty cranky with me for ruining their hidey holes. Smashing all those escape tunnels. So who's in the lead, by the way? What's, what's your marching order? 
if I recall correctly, the meat shield, which would be me, followed by myself, followed by the person who heals me. (laughs) I'm following her. Technically, I was in between her legs. Well, that was very, that was very exciting. She can, no, she can share a spot with anyone. Oh, that's anyone. right. She's super small. That's great. Right. Okay, so you guys are coming up ahead, and you, you notice that there's actually light up ahead. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Well, we all have the dark vision, so. Mm-hmm. We did not need the light. Well, there is light regardless. We don't need no stinking light. How much light? Low light? Uh, yeah, from this direction, it looks like low light. But for it to be angling this way, it's probably pretty bright up ahead. Well, either way, we'll be good. Okay. Or let perhaps her, I let my eyes adjust. Okay. So is anybody going to like perception, deception, listen up ahead? Oh, yes. Okay. It's just like to keep okay. marching out there without seeing no. um, And I don't um, have a thing. Um, did I hear a thing? Um, okay, um, I forgot. Um, perception. Wisdom. Yeah, for. It's your wisdom bonus. Well, are we, she's being active though, right? You can. So it's you can choose to do passive. This column, but is oh. that perception? perception? In your case, passive would have been better. Yeah. yeah. What do I roll? A d20? Uh-huh. The d20 plus your bonus. Oh, okay. I have no bonus. No. In wisdom, right? Yeah. No. So what's the difference between active and passive? Oh, passive well, is basically, it's you You're constantly just, oh, hear it, around. and it's basically background sound, but if you're actively doing the active, you're, you're, you're taking a second to stop, pause, and listen. Uh, I think that's an 18 or a 13. I can't tell from here. 13. 13. All right, so that's 14. 11. Okay, so uh, you you pick up some murmuring, but you definitely hear some talking up ahead. It, it was, to your ears, it was distinctively someone doing something in conversation. Okay. These two are like... What? I hear How many voices do I hear? It sounded like at least three or four quite muffled voices, mm-hmm. and then one distinct voice just just rambling on. Do you okay. speak your kind? No, I speak infernal and common. Okay, it does seem to be kind of you don't understand what the, the loud distinct voice is saying, but it's saying something in a language that you don't speak. Okay. Damn it! I wish our mage was here. She probably knows with her keen elven I do. Do you speak draconic? Oh, well, she can decipher it. Well, I think once well, she, she can. points it out, and she's like, hey, listen, <laughs> we all stop. Do you do that? Of course. Okay. So I, I hear three to four voices up ahead. I listen. can't really understand that. Do you smell that? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so are you going to creep up and listen really intently? Are you going to stealth up to get closer? Probably. Okay, go ahead and roll a stealth and get get, get your little young butt up there. Stealth? Uh-huh. Stealth. It's going to be one of your skills. It's, up, it's going to be the bottom. It's the second bottom from the lip. The second okay. from the bottom. <clears throat> oh, okay, cool. 19. Okay. All of a sudden, the young yeah. starts trotting off and they're doing nothing. <laughs> you hear the dwarf's daddy grumble and nothing of the note. So it's like, oh, how far up do you want to move yourself up there? Oh, and, God. How far, far down the tunnel do you want to go? What? Uh, see, you hear those voices again. How far until she can't see me? Well, basically, the group can't see you right there. Okay, so. Okay, you're seeing a distinctive glow come from this area. Okay. So it's it's definitely well lit in this area. Okay. And, and you're hearing this this high rate voice is saying, Yes, I shall sacrifice you all to the dragon god. I shall be as true as the light. You shall see I shall be powerful. Oh the power for me <laughs> Totally <laughs> the power of Christ come down zero. That was where the power of grace go. <laughs> as, oh, I as you just hear this, and it literally sounds like gag voices. You can't make out what they're saying. I swear it was voice. I'm not stuck to your fools. <laughs> <laughs> And yes, 
He has fake dragon wings, too. Oh, oh. no. Can you say wannabe? When you're a kobold, yes. So do you want to sneak closer? Do you want to tell I the want rest to of them? them first. <laughs> okay, so you're going to try sneak back? What do you tell them? Well, how far away do I have to be uh, until they can't hear me? You probably don't want to be shouting at your group cool. right there. But see how far your group is? That's yeah. not how far your voice could easily travel if you're shouting. So I guess travel you can back. Just, you just travel back. Hi. Thanks. Thanks. Well, let's go get them. Yeah. <laughs> how many are there? So um, you trying I, to get a big One guy bridges. and a bunch of people who seem to be dead. Okay. Well, you say there's only one dude there? Yeah, he's going to sacrifice the beetles. No. Well, we need do to show him exactly how Do you how tell big. them you only heard, or are you saying you saw? I heard. Okay, you might want to tell your group you only heard yeah, one heard. person. I heard one person and then a couple oh, of gag voices. Because you never did. Different. Yeah. Never <laughs> a very big difference. Firm. There could be an army there watching intently. Because my if there was only one dude there, I would be like, let's sneak up and call? like gank him in the I eye. Yeah, I'm just okay. telling you, hey, a person says he wants to sacrifice this guy to the great dragon. Whatever Over my said. dead body. <laughs> well, what, what, Pretty sure your friends are in there. We should probably go. Yeah. Let, let's go do this. Okay. All right. Hopefully not. My not. clanky ass is going to attempt to <laughs> stealth as as as, as, as poorly as possible. <laughs> what? Chainmail. Okay, so you, you have, have the two loudest in front. <laughs> so is, is that the way you guys want to proceed, or do you want do to I have your have sneaky stealthy? ones? Well, you, you can roll stealth and sneak back there. I mean, because two of you do have good stealth, I, I think. Yeah. If you want to get there in advance of the noisy people. I'm going to try that. Her first. Okay. Shit. Nine. Plus. I'm having a bad day. That's okay. plus with the plus. Okay. okay. And then I guess I'm plus. having a bad day. Eighteen. Does it right. go first? Oh. Yeah. Hold on, mm -hmm. hold on. I got, I got a 21. Now remember you have to I go got a 10! Okay, she's going first. I'll go oh. second. Don't do that to me. <laughs> you're you're <laughs> disadvantaged. That's, that's her problem to you. Oh, fuck you. Um, 13. <laughs> okay. And what was your worst roll? I got it. A oh, worst roll? Yeah, remember your disadvantage, you huh? Right. No, because I have the. Uh, you wearing the heavy. Yeah, but my oh, I'm a, I am a right. soldier, so I have swords. the yeah. a soldier background, so I don't take the deficit to that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I got a ten. <laughs> you two. That's scary. They're all <laughs> jealous, and you know it. <laughs> I okay, got the gladiators Bad don't me. hide. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Nor do the clerics so, accord. So, <laughs> as you guys go ahead and bring yourselves all up to right there, because I'm assuming that's where you're yeah. going. Is that correct? Is, is, that yes. the big, is that the big room? That's where the light's coming out of. Yeah. yeah. Light yeah. is beaming out of this dirt. So I got an 18. So I'm staying back, because who wants to go next? This one? I yeah, that is I thought we were in the same corner. You because... could go right there and hug that corner so that way you're freeing up the corner for your Where friends. do you want to go? I'll meet you. If you're out and so you're right there, yeah. you're out in the opening. You just put regardless. me in the next one right next to her. Oh. Well, then can I be the one that, yeah, right there? Okay. And then there? No, I'll be then right I'm behind back the because meat shield. <laughs> okay? And you notice that you guys were sneaking oh so stealthily. I don't know. Dad, skip it. <laughs> that all of a sudden you hear this this jibber jabber going on in the room that you guys who are speaking draconic are hearing the in cult in draconic that somebody's in a high pitch squeaky dragon voice is going to sacrifice all the pink skins to the dragon god so that I alone will not be eaten by him. And have the power So this doofus is saying that. <laughs> Well, we're gonna have to correct that. Except when all of you guys get to the door, oddly enough, it gets damn silent all of a sudden. Oh shit! Oh, Do not like stop on our They may have heard you. Well then, <laughs> no point in hiding. So, what? What? You still are hiding? You don't know that your stealth is broken, so to speak. My, my Yours is still hidden. But screw that. We're going after them. Is there any chance I can just trap them? 
Can I see them from here? Well, if someone has to peek around the corner, and I was going to ask who's going to do that after you guys roll initiative. Roll oh, right. oh, I don't remember how to roll initiative. He just takes roll my initiative. Oh, dex oh, bonus oh, to it. Oh, oh. Fuck. That would be a 19 there, laddie. 18. 8. Seriously? 21. Seriously? I was going to say, the cleric scored first, thank goodness that the... 21. The bond. <laughs> yes, Are you going to hold your face? <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> people with crazy hair. Yes. My bard is, or my uh, dice is a little crazy. Okay. Since I'm right at the corner, should I look first? Well, the dwarf is first. No, the twenty-one bard oh, that's is right, yeah. first. Yeah. No, can I be... look around the corner? Do you want to sneak past your friends and look around the corner? Yeah. Okay. So as you're. Excuse me. Come here. I'm not. Yeah. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> And, and, and as over. you start to look around the corner, mm -hmm. oh god damn it! He's getting reference. Arrow to the face. That's what I'm afraid of. You'll be fine, lass. Just a flesh wound. Just walk it off. <laughs> You're giving me that look, and I haven't even rolled the dice yet. <laughs> I'm feared for my life. You're sure to be. Oh, You're <laughs> Oh my god, why? And as you look around, for a half second you start peeking around the cave and looking down, and you see a kobold. Mm -hmm. Like this. Putting on abs. That's got a pair of wooden stick fake wings with canvas stretched that looks like he's, you know, Putting on trying abs. to be a dragon. Uh -huh. and, and unfortunately, as you do, mm -hmm. You see him go, Pah! and as he does, a streak of red comes from his hand to your face. God damn it. Saving throw! Actually, it's a ranged attack. Ah, suck a dick. So what's your AC? Armor class? Yeah. 14. 14? That's pretty good. I don't think we'll hit you. He's totally going to hit me. <laughs> How about this? If it hits you, how about I roll that again a lot less violent? Because <laughs> that dice just kept going across the room. You were like watching. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Will a 14 hit your AC? Yes. yes. As a firebolt streaks out from his finger. Damn it. And she's trying to hit me, but she can't. Ah, violence. Fortunately, it's with my right hand and I'm left hand, so it doesn't quite, you know, carry the same weight. <laughs> I'm fucking hell, hell Jim. What? Right? Don't give me that look. It's what the dice did. So you get hit for eight points. You're left handed? Oh my god. No. Um, what if She's I dead. She Am I dead? She has seven hit points. Yeah. How do you have seven hit points? You should have more. We're level one. Should... What's your constitution? Wait a minute. You're a. You start You're a rogue. At eight hit you points. have a minimum of eight. Wait a minute. What's your constitution? What's your DC? Here. Okay, hold on. What's your, What's constitution? your constitution? Oh, that's why she's negative one. I'm dead. So you're not dead. You're, you have all of a sudden she sticks her head around the corner and you just see her head snap back as a poof of flame. I gotcha. Explodes. Don't worry. I gotcha. All right, first casualty of the night. Level one. He's level one. <laughs> By the way, that was a cantrip. Maybe yeah, you're saying well, I can't choose to replace. I don't have that as a choice. Okay, so you get hit and you go flying. Thankfully, your friends. And I'm like, fire! No, no, no. Yeah. It's just a bolt of fire hit Okay. You. It doesn't Sorry, light you on you. fire. Okay, so it's the cleric's turn. Spare the dying. Okay, you, you pat her sparing the dying link? Yes, because I'm going to cast that cantrip on you, which okay. stabilizes you. You don't have to do any death okay. saving throws. And that way, when I actually heal you the next time around, okay. it will go to healing as opposed to just stabilizing you. Yay. Knock me down on the floor. <laughs> I'm 
by the way. These are not kobolds, they are hostages. Just before you get scared shitless. I put my oh, fuck. Kobolds on the map. Like, why? Why do you hate us? Yeah, that's right. That one's on their feet because they don't want to lay down. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you do spare the dying? Spare the dying. That's an action? Yes. Okay, do you do anything as your bonus? Need the handbook. You need the player's handbook? It's the monster menu. I like how she gives this horrible look. Like, how dare you give me that? That would be back in the spell section in the H's. As you hear the hostages in the back of the room, most of them actually children are muttering to themselves. Uh, it is a bonus action, so I'm going to cast that Okay. Uh, on her as well. Okay. I thought it was. Yes, it was. Well, oh, that's it. Roll that again. I didn't see that. Or... I spoke back at... It's I spoke your cast modifier wisdom is... plus two. So you got four hit points back. <laughs> so I have four hit points? Yes, you have four hit points. Because <laughs> I, I did nothing. spare the die. <laughs> you missed it. She did. That's okay. I was healing. Sure I was channeling the god Korg <laughs> to, <laughs> to breathe life dying. back. To breathe life no, back into nothing. the fair oh, lady. Yeah. And she, the warrior just like... Slumps her back to the cleric. <laughs> <laughs> no, what do you the die. And by the way, healing words. <laughs> it's like, suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> As you wake up on your knees, going, what just happened? <laughs> As there's like cinders singed all around your face. Going, what? what? No lying down on the job. And well, the no. thing is, it's We've nicely like do. this. And you look <laughs> like sunburn. There's a perfect bisecting line where you peeked around the corner and the wall protected part of your face. You're not pitying on my watch. Dude, that was a bad idea! It was <laughs> such a bad idea. I'm never going in front again. <laughs> okay. So that was, that was a rough start. Yeah, it was. <laughs> but the druid is <laughs> awesome. Is going to bring up the rear. Sure, the druid's awesome. I'm the one that deceived ya! Wait, sorry, cleric is awesome. <laughs> I you know, know. I, I, I was fried in the face. I'm a little confused <laughs> right now. She's at the moment. Get a little eye level with me. She's eye level with me. That's right. She's still seeing the fireworks in her eyes. <laughs> I can't. I so, so, anyway. so what is Mike's going to do? Um, I'm kind of terrified to look around the corner. <laughs> But I don't know if it's a height related thing. Or it could have just been someone heard you and, you know. Because we're all so stealthy. Has uh, never heard a kobold sound like that coming down the hallway ever before and ready to action to just shoot whoever comes first. It's higher than waist level. Yeah. Higher than. Yeah. You're, you're level two. Yeah. Time, if so. you would have peeked around the corner, you would have been fine. Damn it. I was okay with it too. Um, oh, well. What are you going to do? I want to see how it, it's only one, right? Are you going to look? assuming. I want to look, but I'm so scared. So look! So you peek around the corner, and immediately you realize why the fire is so bright. A life lived in fear is a life half lived. So what? Says the cleric who just brought someone back from the dead. <laughs> yeah, you well, see. she wasn't done with her a pair of really large bonfires. Okay. It looks like they're burning all kinds of weird different things. It looks like they just found tchotchkes in the sky, sacrificing them to the god, fire dragon gods. <laughs> Over here, there is a little altar. Okay. Little altar. Okay. Yeah, a little altar. It's covered with scrimshaw and carvings. It looks like it was an altar to something else and then brought here piece by piece, taken apart, and then mm-hmm. kind of dedicated to the dragon queen. Do you know what the scrimshaw is? It's harping a bone in intricate yeah. patterns and designs. 
Most of these look like old old humanoid bones. Okay. It's almost like they found them from that ruined part of the Traditionally area. done on ivory by maritime. Or fish. Fish from Either way. And uh, on that altar, by the way, is a uh, small child, all tied up and gagged. Aww. And, and over here... Or she would know who this person was, because she's local. It's not the pawn shop owner's son. Okay. The little but granny's grandchild? It is the little granny's grandchild. Oh. And, and over here in the corner, you notice granny is tied up. As well as the familiar crumpled form of the wizard granny. <gasps> she seems to be tied, gagged, and basically has a sack over her head. But you recognize her ripped and soiled clothing immediately. Oh no. Bastards. As well as granny. You made you, you made you bastards. As well as two other children. Oh. Do I know these two children? You know, you, you recognize them. Okay. You don't know them very well personally, but you recognize them. So, is it only one enemy? And it's only the one guy with his fake wings dancing around with pyres of fire. Which may or may not have a huge dead body inside. I'm just visualizing the, uh, in the movie Legends. With yeah, the, the goblins. The goblin doing the fire, fire, burning <laughs> fire. Yes, a little joke out from my camera. <laughs> Sorry, I watched How the far away is Jason like a choir? It's got the uniform. It's only 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 feet away. Oh, 30 feet. See? 5 foot square is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I kind of want to join with him. And, but at the same time, I don't want to be getting away from him. I want to be in shit out of him. So, go for it. Um, yeah, he is handsome. Maybe okay. work. But that's 90 feet, and you guys are going to have to tread horribly for about a minute. Well, look, look at the caverns that you're in. Does it look like you, you believe he can escape? There might be a hidden <coughs> spot where he can get out of town. Yeah, so maybe this dim thing will, will take over the entire area, and he can't escape. But it will make the poor train for your friends. Mm -hmm. Sorry, well, does it go straight from her, or could you have it throw it like somewhere else? But it basically read your spell. It, it does an area effect. Grasping leaves and vines sprouts from the ground in a 20 foot square, starting from the point within range. So, so within range. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, so that just means you can do it from any spot within so your range. So you can literally do it like there, and boom. Well, she could even do it That's here, and it goes 5, 10, 15, 20. So okay. it goes this way. Uh -huh. And then that, 90 feet up. So that he's at the very edge of it. But that means that we have less, we don't have to mm -hmm. do shit. You don't have, don't to, walk have to traverse it. it. That was Granted, good. the hostages will all be tied up. But they're already tied up. Yeah. yeah. So. Then it should be safer for them. They'll be in case and then any you might not be able to say peripheral. Exactly. So, yeah. so go ahead and read your spell and tell us what it does. Uh, grasping weeds and vines sprout from the ground in a 20 foot square starting from a point within range. For the duration, each plant turning the ground in the area into difficult terrain. The creature in the area, when you cast the spell, must succeed on a stealth, no, sorry, strength saving throw, or be restrained by the entangling plants within the spells. And, uh, a creature restraining by the plants can use this action to make a strength check against your spell uh, save DC. On a success, it frees itself. When the spell ends, the conjure plants go away. Okay, what's your DC? It's going to be on your second page. It's like at the top there, there's going to be a... your spells. And look at the very top. What's that now? 12. 12. Okay, so he's going to make a 12 to break loose on strength. Which does not seem to be very strong. Is he negative for strength? I'm not telling you how bad his strength <laughs> is. <laughs> oh, he failed! <laughs> Wasn't a critical failure, but pretty damn close. Well, let's put it this way. Bonuses, it was a zero. <laughs> so all of a sudden, this kobold, you could tell he was going to get ready to start spitting another spell up. As all of a sudden, you cast your spell and vines. Huh. And you start like, rising ah. from the ground that you didn't even know those roots were there. And just start lashing onto his wings and his arms. He's like, ah, what? What is this? I do. This makes no sense. 
I am the chosen of the dragon gods. <laughs> Sorry. Chosen my ass. Dragon it's a death. good thing the dragon's used to this kind of thing and lots of knives. <laughs> <laughs> so, he can sleep through anything. <laughs> Alrighty. So, who's turn next? Mari. And actually, it's uh, his. Now he's restrained, right? Mm-hmm. He'd have to make a strength roll to break out of it. Yeah. Which he's going to try to do because he can always roll better than zero on his turn. As he's just like, because he wants to get to the altar now, he realizes he needs to pull his dagger out and get over to that altar. He needs to put somebody down for strike. And he does not and a make five it. does not break this. As he's going, yeah, you just see his one is wings so like tearing walk off. Walk up and hit him. That's kind of my idea. <laughs> what what would uh, our, our dear friend Glory do? I think it's time for a hammer to the face. <laughs> well, well said, my dear. An attempt. <laughs> an attempt. Usually straight well, up there walking. he's a disadvantage because he can't move. He's not a disadvantage. Wouldn't she be an advantage then, at least? He's restrained. Do you want to know what she does? Fourteen. Eighteen. Wow. Yeah, that's just kind of hitting garbage. <laughs> Booyah. It's in the face. So he is restrained. Restrained character speed becomes zero, and it can't benefit from bonus. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage, and the creature six. Attack rolls have disadvantage. The creature has disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. Told you. So you did six points damage. Yes. As you swing your hammer, hitting him in the face, and he just snarled, spitting blood as you hit him. Now I gotta do it again. Hey mom. Yeah, baby. I'm really cold. I'm sorry. I have no jackets or anything. It's cold in these cold All right. All right. So are we starting back up yep. again. Top of the order. I can get up now. I mean, I'm. I, yeah. 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 We, have, <laughs> we have over half a hit. Okay. There is a pair of my I want to shoot him in the face. Okay, you can. Uh, yeah, do you want to stay on your knees face. or get up on your feet? I'm get up on your feet. feet. Yeah, just don't hit me, please. You get on your feet, just blip, you. and then so the you shoot. Just shoot I need to make sure that she does not get hit because she's in front. Don't roll a one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like how she's giving you a look, and you're not looking that direction. <laughs> All right. Um, it's been a while since I've done this, so how do I shoot people? Roll a d twenty. So at the middle, baby, point to where her crossbow is, sweetie, right there. Sharp up. Should be oh. a number there. So roll plus 20. five. Plus and then number. Plus five to it. So seven. 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 So twelve. So you pop over and fire as you're still moving, and then you you're ducking oh, back around the corner. He's at yeah. disadvantage. You mean she's at advantage? Yes. Yeah, so you roll again because you're at advantage. <laughs> 17 plus 5. Plus 5, 22. That hit. And just so you think you missed, you swear that you missed as you dive back around the corner. Mm-hmm. Roll for damage. Okay. And it's, it's a so it's a plus d6 plus 3. 5 plus 3 is 8. 8. 8. So you roll 8 plus 3. In the face. You so can math! As, as, as Glory swings, all of a sudden under your arm comes a crossbow quirl and just sticks in his stomach. Well, I say, God damn! <laughs> See, she thought it was going to miss first because you were there, and I'll see you move. It was a good shot. Okay? And he goes, ah! He's, he's That's for burning my face, fucker! <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. And then it's time for our dwarf, who's been plotting. I'm going to for- walk up to it, but I don't think I can make it to the... I can only go 25. So get me as close as I can. Yeah, that would be just shy. Unfortunately, I don't have any spells that I can use right now. You don't have any cantrips? Uh, my cantrips are... Uh, you know what? I will cast Guidance on Glory. Guidance? Which yeah. would give... It's a 1d4, right? I have to oh. check. Guidance! She has it right here. Yeah, I have it. Guidance! A divine cantrip. Cast one action. Touch. Hey, look. Who's adjacent to you? 
Yes. She touches you from behind. Concentration up to one minute. You touch one willing creature. Once the <coughs> spell ends, the target can roll 1d4 and add that number to the number of rolls to one ability check. If the roll, uh, it can roll the dice before or after making the check. So basically, you can wait like, till you can success or not, and then you can add the okay. oh, 1d4 to it. So you basically get plus 1d4 to 1d20 roll of your choice. So nice. You keep concentrating after touching you from behind. You're welcome. Okay. But I know you saw me use change for it because I saw the. It's usually between the ends, like, you're welcome. Well, cut. And then you're supposed, the, to, do, you're supposed to do the face of, like, no problem. Like, nonchalant. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, you know, sign language is probably not the best thing for, for a podcast. podcast. For a podcast. It's true. It's like I was listening to one today. There's like this crack sound, like, oh yeah, you guys are listening. We just high five. <laughs> it was hilarious. Okay, so Mike Z. Hi. Um, I can go 25. Uh huh. I. He's entangled. He is um, entangled. As long as you keep concentrating on that spell, you keep him. Face and not my ass. I <laughs> don't have <laughs> any. Well, then go ahead and take I thought you did. No, it's I a have a staff and a scimitar. Oh. And I also have the thorn with it. Entangle guy. is a concentration spell, though, right? Yes. Which so means you keep the concentration on. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, it, she can cast cantrip spells as long as they don't require concentration. She, she can keep one concentrated and she can keep casting another one that's a non concentration spell. Mm-hmm. They made it easier on casters so they don't have to sit there and just go keep winding and winding and winding and winding. Mm-hmm. So, oh. what would you like to do? You um. could dash across the room and try to save the captives. I mean, <coughs> you could come the sneak this way to see what's going on down the hallway while they're making all this noise. I don't recommend that right see, now. See, I did that last time and she almost died. So yeah, but you're sneaky, so <laughs> that means cord protects. It means nothing. Cord protects. So what is it? I, what is it that you like to do? I kind of want to hit him in the balls, but <laughs> you could do a double move and be right there next to him for next. But time. you can't hit him this time. Mm-hmm. Does your thorn whip take concentration? I don't know. It, it doesn't take concentration, but it does move the target. So he would no. be away from the... Yeah, that's no good. It grabs and pulls things 10 feet. Oh, that's no, right. It's a, that. it's a come over here. Yeah, yeah a get Got over it. here with. Um, Unless she casts it behind him, but then again, you know, you don't want to take it closer to the altar either. No. Yeah, because that would be like, also, yeah, right, the wind, baby. If she got a one, she would hit the captives. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, so that's not She's trying to do it behind So I guess I'm going to go to that... 25, okay. I think that's 25. And you're going to do a stealth? That's 20. Yeah. Okay, we're going to mine. Can I still see everybody? Nope. Nope, you can't can't see him. You're starting to get out of view of everybody. One back. One back. Need to make sure everyone is not going to be hurting, because no. Okay, go Um, ahead and make your stealth roll. And she starts getting sneaky. She she, she runs away from you guys. Let's see if you even notice it. Uh, Ten. 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 You believe that you have stealthed away from everyone successfully. You believe. I believe. I believe. I'm concentrating at the same time. I'm pretty so so okay. <laughs> that, that could I be it because you're concentrating. Because remember, if you lose sight, you break the spell. And yeah, you know, I'm not breaking. The spell. So that's why it, it's good that you're doing that. Yay. Okay, so now then it would be glorious. It's his turn. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, it's his turn. Okay. Is he yeah. going to try and break the bonds? You know, he's going to say, You have scales too. You don't want to fight me. Join my scales. side. She has a teeth She doesn't. It's close enough for him. She has a t- tail you, and horns. You want to know what She's a dragon says. person. Is t- does she, he say she, that in normal tongue? Or he says it in draconic. Do you speak draconic? Do you no. not? If you translate, it'll break yourself. Do by you the way. want to know? No, no you don't I want to tell her. But he does say enough magic in common that she's going to have to roll a saving throw. Oh, he's trying to charm you. Yeah, I figured as much. He's like, hey, pretty lady with the sexy legs. <laughs> charm person. Warrior goddess. <laughs> Warrior goddess supreme. Okay. Like in, uh, <laughs> Transformers, the little, jer- the little Transformers, the little RC bop that humped that guy. Yes, yeah. that guy. 
Wait, so, I don't have to be a Decepticon. I got a choice. So give me a 12 on the wisdom or better. She's grimacing her warrior's grimace. 17! <gasps> you, you, for a second, you're looking at him and you're, and you're like, this is nice. So, sad. even for a second, she got a 17. And then immediately you get... Give, give me some flavor texture. Would you, would, you, would, you, would you like to step on my nuts again later? <laughs> and all of a sudden you're like, what the hell? <laughs> and, and you're just ready to smash his smarmy little, you know, he had this little bit of comic. And the thing is, you know exactly what he was trying to do. Yeah, because even yeah. if it had gone off after it wears off, you know exactly. Yeah, and it didn't work. He was hoping to buy some time because he's afraid of trying to walk away from you and be <laughs> smashed in the face. He was well, hoping Cole rolled. He was hoping Charm Person would do something. <laughs> Too bad. Yeah. How's that? So sad. And it's your turn. It's your turn. Hit him in the face. Black and mole or not funny. Doesn't matter. Have a time. You probably want to you probably want to redo that since it crashed in all the other. You have an advantage. Yes, you do have an advantage. advantage. Just the better two rolls. Uh, that would be a 14. That would hit. A 10 touch. Insert smarmy comment oh that I can't God. fucking think of for the life of me here. And the funny thing is exactly what Glory says. Yeah. <laughs> um, eight. Eight? Damn. Wait, sorry, ten. Ten. Damn. <laughs> He's uh, really not looking good on your back swing because you went bam and then she went quick and then bam and you just see blood coming from both sides of his mouth. You know, he seems to be missing a couple of his fangs. I'm try. One wing is all stuck into the grass and ripped off his back now. And that's uh, why he gets out of the order. Our, uh, I'm gonna shoot him in the try to shoot him in the face. Scorched Bard is very yes. pissed off. Hard. And she was over there reloading her crossbow, <laughs> like cursing the entire time. Yeah, it's like the dwarf in the last. Uh, eight plus uh, eight plus eight. 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 Fortunately, it goes fine. Oh, but but so do I get advantage? You do get advantage. Okay, yes. so I'm gonna roll it again. 14 plus 5. Now go ahead. Woohoo! Just as you see it flying through his one wing, you realize that there's some shoulder behind that <laughs> wing. Because the wing got flipped over his shoulder. Ow. And he struggles. Oh, yeah, bitches. Uh, 3 plus 4 is 7. 7? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want to roll 7. They're good. Because that is dead. As, I don't even get a hit. You don't even <laughs> get a hit. As all of a sudden he just goes, Ah, Dragon God, save me! <laughs> As he manages to break free of the grass and roots and fall into the fire, he's on fire. Yay! And, and just at that moment, you hear his death screams in the fire as he gets drowned out. As you hear another scream, almost exactly same pitched as the kobold scream dies down, you hear that down this way, Mike C especially, is hearing the small scream of a child. It almost sounds like a voice you've heard scream before in laughter and joy, but this time it's screaming abject fear. Oh no! Oh no! Guys, let's go! Hey guys, we're gonna go. I'm gonna help you in a second. So, it it is uh, our dwarf's turn. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go uh, bring the hospital out. 25 feet towards White Sea. Oh, Oh, you're going towards danger. Yes. She laughs in the face of danger. <laughs> and as you come around that corner and your dark vision tweaks back on in the little gray haze. What's the range of your dark vision? Uh, 60 feet, 60 right? Feet. Oh. Easily within the range of the sun. You notice something you've never seen before. Your dwarven storytellers have never told you anything that looks like what you're saying. Okay. To your dying day, the sight that you are about to take in will probably haunt you. Ew. No. I've seen many a battlefield. The horrors of the battlefield. 
Because what you see is a cave rat, a very rare sight. Covered in black spines, the dragon's eyeless head swings from side by side as darkness creeps from its strange eel-like eye, spreading into the area around it. Looks like a mix between a dragon and a caterpillar, almost. Snow wee beasties of EVC. And it's, it's about the size of a very, very large fighting dog. It's not like mass, it's not bigger than a human. Then she cross the bowl at it. Okay, and you see, by the way, okay. let me finish describing this horrible beastie with its wings. A small child running just ahead of it as it yeah. seems to be. I'm gonna shoot it with my crossbow. Since it's it's oh not God, looking at me, I'm at advantage. Because I, I will give you an advantage since it doesn't see you coming, and I thought you were just the kobold killing things to bring it more Because I food. can shoot 80 feet. Now, let me finish my description here. I'm trying to rescue the dumb child. Yeah, you notice in this area, the ceiling, this is not no kobold room. This is The ceiling has all been carved. And you know that these are the architecture. architecture. No, this is not dwarven architecture. It's been carved from the <laughs> earth itself by something that digs really well. You see five foot tunnels that go through here, through here, through here. And the, the ceiling is about 20 foot tall in some places here. It basically domes up. And you hear dripping moisture somewhere in this room. You don't know exactly where yet, but there's dripping moisture. And you're going to shoot at him. Dance. Keep me. Okay. If I can distract it from the child. Attack me. The cord's lesson. After me. All right. That would be a 13. I don't think it's going to hit. Less that. A 14? 13. 13? You fire your, your crossbow and it skitters off the but dragon's But it might be armor. enough to get its attention. Yeah, a crossbow flying across the room might get some of his attention. Especially if you're only playing with the child. And by playing, I mean chasing around like a cat to a bug. It makes it taste better. Okay. All that fear marinates it. <laughs> Step away, ya wee beastie. I'm hard, so just step away, you mangy beastie. Nothing we about what's your, what's your dex bonus? Oh, uh, plus two. 800. <laughs> <laughs> you hear some skittering sounds. Away from the child, the mangy beastie. Okay. So, that means... You ugly so. git! <laughs> now she's getting personal. <laughs> now it's our... our Druid's turn. Hi. Hi. The dwarf went in there and fired off the crossbow bolt. Mm -hmm. The child who you've seen grow up is in danger now. What are you going to do? Um, I'm going to go in the room. How far in the room would you like to get? Well, same spot as her. Right you can now. share the spot. Okay. You can. I just want to look around as well. You basically see the same description where there's the holes in the wall. There's the beast over here attacking the child. As you're between the dwarf's legs. <laughs> and you, you see that as you step your head through, you basically are seeing the crossbow bolt skitter off the uh, cave dragon's armor. Does the cave dragon look away from the child? The cave dragon has yet to have its turn, and basically this is all about happening at once. Oh, okay. So it may be reacting. You're pretty sure having a crossbow arrow on it will do something. Okay. Um, but I don't really have any range weapons. So I have to actually fun at the thing. You do have your thorn. I do have my thorns. <laughs> How many no, steps just, of it? I was taking a picture. I didn't want to take a picture. You were right here, so you have five, ten. Spell real quick because it, it 30 feet away is where you make the whip, and then the whip uh, reaches out, doesn't it? The material, the sound, the flame of the uh, you create a long vine like whip covered in thorns that lashes out at your um, command for the creature in range. Uh, make a melee attack spell, yeah, spell attack against the target if the attack hits. Your creature takes one d6 okay. damage. 
and if the creature is larger or smaller, you move the creature up to 10 feet closer to you. So he's in range of the ground. And what's your range? I think that's 30. 30 feet. 30 feet. So you have to be right there to cast it out. Okay, and I have a plenty of five. So you're five, ten, ten. fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. You'd be, you'd be ten feet short. Five, twenty. Yeah. Twenty-four. Well, remember you have to, you can't cut the head line from there, so you gotta roll. Oh, gotta step one up shape. and then. Yeah. So five, take one, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty-five. Where was he landing? He's right here. So 30 so feet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Sad. Okay. He's just shy. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of... The thing is, is that one of my flaws is if you can't save yourself, don't expect me to. Wow. So I'm you're, kind of like... You're throwing shit. the kid out there for a poker shit. chip. Shit, yeah. Um, but at the same time, do anything to stop the dragon. So it's kind of like, ugh. <laughs> and at the same time, things change. <laughs> so what are you going to do? Welcome to role playing your decision making. <laughs> um, I'm going to go to the spot. And so right here? I think so. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, so you're running out in the middle of the room. <laughs> yes, so. Okay. Bad choices. Are you going to shout? Is there any spells you can do? Oh, hey, you, you. Got, you got all these hey, cool powers of nature. Um, I don't know. The only other thing I have is healing, uh, purified water and food. So. But I have a scimitar. <laughs> do, you, you, do you want to try to intimidate him? You've got skills. Think about it. Sure. Yeah. I'm okay. I don't like dragons, so if it looks like a dragon, go for it. Well, what, what kind of skill would you like to use? Skill? Skill, yes. Look at your skills. Help. You can use skills. You, would you like uh, to intimidate him? For right. I was like, oh, no. Skittles, I thought, is what you said. No, yeah, skills. Yeah, like, you could pay no. the bills. Religion. What? Sleight of hand. What? I have sleight of hand? Everyone has those skills. You can try those. But what do you think you can do running in the middle of this room with this dragon chasing a small child? <gasps> Athletics. I, I can I can run it away. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you think in this situation? Oh, in this up? situation? Yeah. Uh, yell and then run back to this corner. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> you, you can do that. You run in here, you yell out something, and then you run right back? Yeah, basically. Okay. No. Wait. What is right here? Yeah. In between here. That's you don't know until you get there. Until I get there, but no. You want to use your your action to run in here? I'm scared too, but I mean, yeah, I want to get the thing away from you. Okay, you come in here and see that this is a cave area where the dragons dug it out. Dug it out. Nothing Looks else. like when the, the dragon digs, much like the kobolds, he can dig and pack caves. Okay, cool. And so the dwarf uh, and the rogue are doing something un un awesome or very wholesome, depending on your church ethics. So the I Church of Korra approves. Cool. Um, He's all about athletics. <laughs> <laughs> Power of the Power of the Athletics. Wow. So, what does that mean? What do I have to do? You know, basically, you, you're running. You can go a little further they if you want to go in here. Well, I'm happy with right there. Yes, the change the barrier. The, the There's a thing blocking. Okay, so you so you're good with right here, hiding in the cave works. I want to scream at it. And yeah, I want to scream at it till it's an unholy thing and taking you say, You're it. ugly. Your mother doesn't love you. And your mother smells of elderberries. Basically, yeah. And then run, and draconic. Basically, make him understand. But meanwhile, you know, your friends have left you guys. <laughs> <laughs> The druids like, I mean, wow, the, wow. the druid, the cleric, were like, you guys got this handled, bye. But what would you like to do, Glory? Is they ran off without you? Well, as well, a free action, can I poke it with a stick and make sure it's dead? Yeah. <laughs> All right, because I don't want it to. It's, it's already blistering in the fire at this point. You have a pretty good feeling he either plays the best possum ever, or he's really <laughs> cooking like a sausage. Awesome. Crispy mm, critters. Crispy critters. Gross. Lunch later. Critter fritters! Yeah. Uh, Anyways. Uh, well, well, you did hear screaming happen. Yeah. And 
two of your friends. And, and a bunch of people attacked in the corner. The two healers went pew. I, yeah, I was planning on, on taking I'm assuming that. you've dropped your spell at this point. Yeah. And so it's been a minute. Mm-hmm. I, well, no, it hasn't. Wait, been a has it been a minute? A minute's like ten. Yeah, but she left. Oh, okay, you left. It, the, yeah, is it is it just me, or is that is that a pretend pretend person, or is that a little cobalt dude? That's a pretend, pretend person. person. Okay. Yeah. yeah all of those are pretend people. I kind of, and I was like, oh shit, you forgot one. <laughs> <laughs> she goes up to yeah, nice no, Timmy the Lost stone everything. Right. It's gone. Okay. Yeah, as soon as she went around the corner and broke, I kind of. So they're just tied up. Yeah, they're just tied up and bound. I'll sit sit tight! <laughs> and I take off. <laughs> and the one kid on the altar is just like... Hey, I hey, still here. There is one screaming. You can wait. <laughs> okay. So... They are not in immediate it's danger. It's not safe yet. <laughs> so, you want to movement get you there? Do you want to keep going? Yeah, full okay. movement. 5, 10, 15... She was dragon 30. chasing the kid. Do you want to finish going your 30 towards the dragon? Yes. 15, 20... And 20, she's going to... 30... Do a bubble cry. Hey! Bitches! <laughs> I'm going to endeavor to um, intimidate it. Okay. <sighs> I'm coming running in the room screaming like that when you're looking at something that looks like it's a xenomorph with, with scales. Whatever, I'm purple and I have a tail and horns. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> uh, that would be uh, uh, 16. That's pretty intimidating. Ah, bitches! Okay. He's like, oh hell no! <laughs> I know you don't think you're going after that child. <laughs> oh no, you didn't. So, <laughs> things have screamed at it now. Yeah. One of the best so, World of Warcraft well, ideas. <laughs> you know. But, yeah. One of the best World of Warcraft hunters I ever saw. His name was. Oh no, you didn't. And his pet name was Oh Yes I Did. Nice. <laughs> it was a troll. <laughs> that does not surprise me at all. And that's a great place to wrap it up there. Thank you for listening to DD Journey of the Fifth Edition, a member of the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And remember, be careful out there. There be dragons about. On the battlefield, I'm a warrior, ready to kill or be killed. I've defeated orcs from the north, sent Kandorian demon spawns back to the depths, and drank with Sumerian heroes. But when I get back from a hard day of disemboweling my enemies, I enjoy nothing more than to open my castle doors and find a dungeon crate as my reward for blood well spilled. Designed for role players and tabletop gamers, Dungeon Crate is a monthly subscription box service with a treasure hoard of loot you can use on or off the battlefield. Miniatures, dice, tokens, coins, maps, modules, terrain pieces, handcrafted items, RPG jewelry, and more are yours for only a few gold per month. You even get a digital crate along with a physical one as an added bonus. So what say you? Are you ready for postal glory? Oh boy. DungeonCrate.com Let the adventure begin!